So hello everybody, I'm here for the second episode of the best way of Terebia and today I will talk to you about the Gregon Earth. So what is a Gregon Earth? It's an elementary, so it's linked to an element in a rock. Uh, it's not composed of its element, but it have a special link with it. Uh, it have a triangle number of uh, 40 uh, um, 38 so it's become to be it's uh, become to be very dangerous and you have a little text uh, which said uh, which says attack from the side uh, so uh, I think you saw the jaws I think you will uh, have a little idea of uh, what it's better to attack from the side here we have this position on the triangle of full freak so it's eight uh, it's, uh, 38. So it's become to be uh, dangerous. Uh, the Greek on Earth are come from two uh, points of Terabia in the northwest, so the Lonely Mountains in the extreme north, north, and uh, the Transverse Mountain. Uh, you have to know what uh, that a lot of uh, Greek on Earth come from uh, the Transverse Mountain. Uh, due, to the, due to that, uh, they are named Gregon Earth because Gregon is the ancient word for dragon in the Cretan language. Uh, so, a Cretan was an ancient kingdom destroyed during the Plague War, uh, but the language still used in an official, um, official reunion or uh, in science, uh, like uh, Greek or Latin uh, today, for example, for us. And uh, the Earth is uh, the uh, element of the dragon. Uh, so, what the Earth is, is element? There is two possible explanations. The first is uh, that the nests of ground Earth are very deep in the ground. And when a young Gregon Earth uh, comes to uh, the surface, uh, it seems to be like uh, the Earth produced them. The other possibility is, is, is due to uh, their uh, shells of bone uh, around them. It's called the bonoc, so it's a mix of rock and bone. So we're going earth will eat rock and then add it to his uh, bones and it creates bonok. So yeah we have the bonok so it's uh, the, it's uh, like a child very hard child and um, here you have uh, his skull and it's uh, his principal weapon. Uh, the first is uh, the, the first thing you have to know is the utilization of the nose muscle, muscle. So it's linked to a uh, bonoc child uh, in his nose, and uh, because of the very fast uh, contraction of the nose muscle, it uh, acts. It will act like a jackhammer. So it use it to. Uh, destroy the rock. He also have two glands, so he used it to dissolve rocks because before eating them. Uh, so a basic gland and acid gland. Uh, so uh, the utilization of uh, the basic or the acid uh, will depend of the type of rock he have before um, be before him. And uh, finally, a gastric gland, so he used it to uh, hunt. And uh, finally, his uh, song, so he, uses it, he used it to hunt or to determine the composition of the rock. Uh, so you uh, see it, so basic gland and acid gland can be used individ individually uh, against rock or metal or uh, in the same time to create an explosion 
uh, you know when you mix uh, an acid liquid and a basic, and a basic liquid they can make a little explosion here it's the same thing but uh, it creates a very huge explosion uh, so it's not uh, the uh, acid or the basic will kill uh, in the explosion because uh, it's uh, not basic or acid it's the temperature uh, it's uh, to give you an idea the explosion is in, uh, in earth uh, 350 uh, degrees celsius uh, 662 Fahrenheit uh, to give you an idea and uh, finally the gastric gland used it to hunt uh, on uh, organic prey uh, so uh, it's a little gland full of uh, gastric juice and he uh, ejects it uh, to hunt like uh, the cobra for example here you have the range of uh, his explosion because it's the explosion uh, that is the uh, most uh, dangerous and uh, so in yellow uh, it uh, causes uh, very uh, light injuries in orange it, uh, it can uh, make uh, people uh, impossible to walk for example or to fight and in uh, red, it's the dead. Uh, you can see a four little circle uh, here. It's uh, because of uh, his pose used to fight. Uh, as you imagine, uh, the uh, potential, the military potential of the Green Earth is used in uh, many armies. Uh, so, in uh, two possibilities. So in uh, your right, the Sage Tower on Earth. So it's a nacelle with two lancers and uh, four archers. And generally, it uh, also have an escort of 20 or uh, 40 men to protect it. So there is two uh, utility of uh, it. Uh, it can be uh, to destroy the uh, formations and also to destroy uh, tight formations or uh, like a ram, a ram to destroy a gate and then generate an explosion and kill every uh, people who would like to defend the door. Uh, the, uh, it can also can be in a battle, in open battle. Uh, for example, to uh, destroy a charge, and you can imagine it, it's uh, very effective against uh, infantry or cavalry. Uh, the second application is a uh, Regan Ballista. Uh, the idea is to kill over Regan Earth. So, um, it's uh, the interest is by uh, shooting in the eye. Or in the gap of the uh, Bonoc child to kill the Gregon Earth and after to uh, let uh, the infantry or the cavalry attack. Uh, it's uh, very dangerous also because the escort is very limited 10 or 20 men because uh, Ballista Gun Earth needs a lot of mobility to move and uh, find the uh, good point to shoot the others uh, on Earth. Uh, you have also to know that uh, armies uh, have the stronger, the strongest on Earth because uh, the crew of on Earth generally have uh, the volunty to uh, give him the swords the shields or the armor of their enemies uh, and so the uh, bonok is not made of bone and rock but of bone and steel so it's very very strong uh, here you have the range of a ballista on earth 
Uh, so you can see the sides are very weak and also uh, it's also uh, it's uh, only against Argon Earth. So the range is uh, quite limited limited against another Argon Earth, but it's uh, generally the only solution to uh, authorize a charge of infantry. Here we have uh, the range of a siege tower uh, on Earth. So uh, you can see it's a very more it's more uh, it's more like a circle and it's help to a very have a good protection of the Gregon Earth. Uh, because of the range of the arches uh, in the circle, you will be uh, you can say, but why use Gregon Earth? if the archers have uh, a best range. It's because uh, the Gregon Earth make uh, damage in uh, all area and uh, can destroy in one stroke all, uh, all information. Uh, archers can't do it. Now you will uh, be interested about uh, what is the ratio of the Scarecrows uh, with on the Gregon Earth. So the Puritans considered that it's uh, an erratic creature and want to exterminate it uh, and so they don't use it in their army. Uh, it's a problem for them. And the Shepherds, even if they uh, are uh, more pacific, they still have a little army and uh, they used it in their army. So here you have the number of uh, Gregon Earth used in the uh, army. So uh, no Gregon Earth for the Puritans and uh, so uh, 20 uh, Gregon Ballista for the Shepherds, 120 Gregon Sage Tower uh, also and uh, 200 Gregon Worker. So a Gregon Worker is a Gregon which is not used to uh, fight but to work, for example, uh, in the, by mining or uh, to carry a very strong uh, weight. Uh, you have finally to know that uh, the Puritans uh, created an alternative to the Gregon Earth. For the Gregon Ballista, they use a Ballista cart. So uh, it's uh, a cart with horses, but a Ballista in it. As a Ballista cart is very weak because it's just a cart with a Ballista. And uh, the efficacy of, of it is uh, very limited. And for the Gregon uh, Sage Tower, they use a simple ram or elephant. So I hope you uh, liked this video. Uh, for the first, uh, uh, for the for the the next video, I will ask you to choose between. Uh, the, the aberrations, the sirens, like uh, the next video, or uh, the Doria. Uh, so, uh, thank to, thanks to your attention, and uh, bye to the next episode.